Hey, so I went to this party recently and there was a lot of things I really liked about it. Uh, the setting was really cool, the music choices were great, the guest list was stacked, but for some reason it only felt like 40 minutes of a party that were stretched out to nearly two hours. No, my mistake. I saw the new Wes Anderson movie. I forgot. I don't have friends. When it comes to what I expect from the basics of a Wes Anderson movie, Asteroid City excels. I would honestly go as far as to say this is one of his best looking films. I've always loved how he commits to whatever aesthetic he's portraying. Like here, all the mountains have that kind of Disney World artifice, or the effects look as though they originated from movies during that time period. The direction of course feels precise, but at no point feels too self-aware that it is. The comically large amount of stars that make up the cast was actually a highlight and not really a distraction since they're both spread out very well and they feel committed to the roles. I've heard how enjoyable people find Wes to work with, so no one here feels like they're there for a paycheck. And with a budget of 25 million, I'm sure a lot of them took a pay cut. However, my enjoyment didn't really extend far beyond the technicals, unfortunately. The initial core of the premise is there, it's just stretched out with a bunch of added stuff to beef up its runtime. As much as I enjoyed some of the fourth wall breaking live performance stuff, it kind of felt like it was only there to justify the aesthetic since it's supposed to be a live play shown to an actual audience. I liked Brian Cranston's performance a lot as this kind of Rod Serling narrator, but again, in reality, none of this needs to be here. If they just focused more on the actual story and less on the framing devices, it would have made for a much more enjoyable movie. I honestly think this concept would have worked better as a TV show than a movie. It's weird because everything else in it is so meticulous, whereas the script just felt like a first or second draft. Whereas something like the Grand Budapest Hotel excels in both its technicals and its script. That one has a framing device as well, except it's much more engaging and the actual plot moves at a lightning fast pace. Like seriously, there isn't an ounce of fat on that script. The biggest saving grace is the actual concepts it has going for it. Like I was curious how the UFO stuff was going to be handled, but when it occurred it made for some pretty great scenes. The movie does a great job at laying out the area and giving you a good sense of geography. We do get some good character moments and the comedy is consistently funny throughout, but once we get past the first 30 minutes, I was just waiting for some interesting plot beats to happen. Don't get me wrong, they're there, but they're few and far between. It's too bad because I went into this hoping it would be better than it was because it did have the potential to be one of his best films. I wouldn't say I hated it, and yeah, I guess I would recommend you check it out at least once, but for me, I guess I was somewhat let down by a less polished script. I don't know, maybe my opinion will change on a second viewing. 6 out of 10. Last night.